Alright, welcome back guys. So, if you've seen last episode, well, <laughs> you already know what I'm gonna say. Damn, those last five minutes, they were, uh, they were cringe-worthy. So, hopefully you like the cringe, uh, I... Hopefully it's not gonna continue this way, but we're probably gonna have a boss fight at our hands. If you like what you see, please consider, uh, leaving a like on the video. If you wanna see more content just like this, consider subscribing as well. Let's get into it. Right, and here we are, ladies and gentlemen. So, last episode, you seen the fight here. That was absolutely cringeworthy. Absolutely <laughs> hated it. It's one of the few times I've been uh, negative about this game. But hopefully, it's gonna improve. We shall see. Let's go where we need to go. The last area that we uh, left off in. So I'm not sure what a uh, dialogue is gonna continue. Probably at the little diamond here. Oh, hi. That's a red. Why there is a single wretch here? I don't know. Oh, finally a place to sell some stuff. Alright, let's see. Too much money, not so, one thing I've learned is that if you have the mods in this game, they actually, compared to the previous games, do every single item on that mod counts. So, if you even if you don't have any perks in it yet, it will still give you that perk. Even if you have barely leveled up that uh, specific tree. Alright. I will quickly unlock this uh, skin. Got a full backpack now. Let me refill my ammo. On this character, I've got no problems with ammo or with uh, money. Alright, let's do this. So, it should be a boss fight pretty soon. A quiet area here. I don't know why I'm opening up this thing. Let's see. Ooh. Leveling up just by walking in the next area. We gotta open it up and get me inside that beautiful thing. It's a manual override on top. Just gotta get to Boom. Stay down, scrub. If I had blood. The sniper ain't Sweet. too bad. Anybody counting? Yeah. Aim is just gonna be a bit off booting. That's a nice amount of damage. I like it. Hopefully we get some more stuff like it. Ah, oh, I was doing extra damage because of the level up. Alright, let's see what skill point we can use. I'm just gonna continue putting it in this. With, uh, Luke. So there's my guys. Don't really care about him. Blue. Oh no. <laughs> I was gonna say blue item on the ground here, but that was a, uh, icicle. We have to go. Probably over here. Jump on this. Get across. Probably need to kill this. Uh. Alright, so there we go. Ooh, got a nice amount of uh, points. Alright. Annoying. Yeah, this is where uh, the aim assist can be a bit annoying. I don't know why it's keeping me away from him. That's the uh, console life troubles, I guess. So, even though I'm gonna break the rule right now, I'm actually considering uh, trying to use my uh, mech a little bit less. Considering that it, it just feels a bit cheap to keep using the max, so one thing I'm gonna do after this is uh, the next boss I'm fighting, I will farm that boss a little bit, get some nice loot, and then uh, you set loot a bit more. Bye. Bye, beautiful time. You okay? He makes ways to dream work. Always happy to fly off and try something new, but as soon as there's a problem, he just falls apart. Yeah, and I'll be glad when this uh, part of the 
mission or the main storyline is over because it has been cringe worthy, absolutely cringe worthy. I mean, yeah, no, it, it, I have not seen much worse in recent memory. I mean, there are some bad games. Like I've seen some parts of uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood. Haven't played it myself, but I've watched some uh, Red Brand on it, and oh, <laughs> that uh, felt awful as well. I'm just looking whether there's some good mods, maybe even some guy uh, good shields, but doesn't feel like it. I'm All at right. the bridge. Balex, you here? Looks cool. Guess not. Green Gundam. I'm almost there. Just gotta solve one problem. You're not designed to solve problems, Balex. That's my job. You're just my chauffeur. Well, what I'm solving is the anti-collision safeguard, which I just turned off. Navigate it, bitches! Uh, Looks like a little small area to have a boss fight in, but... So, the few exceptions to the rules uh, with my mech are that I will use it against bosses when necessary or when I really feel like I want to use it. Uh, alternatively, when there's a couple badasses. Oh. And that will be one of those moments. Uh, this area seems a bit small to. Uh, a uh, do a boss fight in. Maybe that's just me. So she's level 27. She seems to be pretty strong. I'm level 26. Oh, what are those? Those are cool. Another thing that I want to do is um, considering. Uh, that I want to reduce my max size. I have a perk that actually increases fuel. So I want to get rid of the uh, more that I got. I think you're supposed to shoot those. Uh... I don't think I am allowed to leave this area. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking with this boss fight here. It, uh, no cover that I can uh, go for. Luckily, I got this weapon, which still is quite nice because they're max. They're metal. Just trying to shoot this ball suit, but. Let's place again. Yeah, it's not the worst boss fight, but I did. I don't see the design here. Nothing really... No cover, there's... Seems to be just a clusterfuck fight. Which is, uh... Kinda weird, but... Every game has a couple of, uh... Old ones out where you just don't like it, you know? And I guess this is my mission here. Maybe some people like this one. That I am definitely not a fan of this uh, area, the dialogue, that type of stuff. I don't know what are I'm hitting shields there. Like I don't know what these uh, things are right now. Probably shields, yeah. Luckily your ads aren't that strong. And those balls don't insta-kill. They do do quite a do bit of damage though. I don't know where I'm getting grenades from, but I'll take them. Actually, if you have a worse uh, whatever call called, uh, shield than mine, might actually be quite fast to not die here. 
Actually, I'm even dying. I know, uh, hopefully it's not gonna reset the full thing. But yeah, there was not a lot I could do there, I think. Those balls don't have any aim assist on them, so it's hard to hit them. They do a shit ton of damage. Let's see, how much damage do I have to do again? Ho 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 Oh, that's a bit of a dig. Oh, it puts you right back at the start? Well, that's uh... Bullshit. I'll use my mech a little bit more in this case, then. Maybe I can use something like this as well. Uh, like the uh, sniper. Yeah, so what, what am I supposed to do against these balls? They even take multiple hits of damage from this thing, so... So yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do against uh, this boss right now. This far I have questioned some of the uh, boss design choices in this game, but most of the time it is good. But there are some cases like this where it's just like, it's an open room, they throw a shit ton of stuff at you. You're just supposed to take it, I guess. Uh, like, I think the best thing you can do is just sit in the back here and, I don't know. I don't know whether those balls self-destruct at any point. Hope they do. But yeah, this uh, area has been one of the worst areas uh, I've had in a long time in gaming. <laughs> and that says something. Brutus character. Oh, look, look at that. Look at that. One ball. It's over a thousand damage. That was like 1600 plus damage. They bounce around like crazy. They take multiple hits. So, I don't know, um, there is this thing called Competition Form, which uh, apparently skills something, and I, I don't know how it fully works. To get some of these. So, I'm guessing, besides being like a revive thing or something like that, those guys give you hell. I got my mech back. Okay, so one of those balls, well, I think it depends on where they hit you as well. How close they are. There's about 1200, 1600 damage. The thing is, I'm supposed to farm this boss after this. Although I will continue the story a little bit after this uh, thing. I might skip some of the parts as well. I don't want you guys to see me dying. <laughs> Actually, this far I haven't had that many problems with bosses anyway. Like, I did have uh, problems with the Katagawa ball a little bit for a second. Because he has a one attack that did a shit ton of damage. It was just really hard to figure out what you had to do. I'll keep jogging nice. Uh, 
Uh, unfortunately, this fight, uh, I've decided to sit in the back like a... I don't want to say that word. <laughs> Fortunately for YouTube, I feel like I have to center myself a bit for what I normally say. In the company of uh, friends and all that. I mean, that's uh, the thing you have to do. You have to be a little bit professional. I'm not going to call myself professional just yet, but, you know. Got to act for like uh, the job you want. Ah, uh, and disappointment in shoes. There's no legendary is drop. Really, screw these guys. Alright, give me a second, I'll go through all the loot. Alright, and the loot was absolutely disappointing. Like, I didn't get anything that I would want to use in any way, shape, or form, so. Alright, let's pick this up. Full key for Now come pick me up. Oh, you shut up. I'm gonna like you. Going to sanctuary. All right, that's a uh, easy teleport. Oop. You have acquired the first fragment of Eden Six's vault key. Bring it to me aboard sanctuary. Anyway, to get out of here quickly because there's probably a loot area. I actually forgot about that, or almost forgot about that. It's probably gonna be over here. There we go. One chest. Is that it? Wait, am I? My gun kept, uh, stayed a bit sticky there, alright. That's unfortunate and useless, wow. Alright, I'll see you guys in a sec. I am in my lab with Lilith. We're storming our brains on ways to combat the Calypsos. <laughs> oh no, nah, I know that evil laugh anywhere. Genevieve is all up in your ship. Hey, you oh god. idiots. I like your ship. Not as well armed as the family jewel, but I think I'll fit right in here once I make some modifications. Oh, onboard service box. Please take apart the crew. What the hell? Right. Vault Hunter, we're locked in here. Get to the bridge and fix this. What is going on? Are we under attack? Abandon the ship! Robots and children first! Can't even sell my loot. Alright. Get rid of the vault. Not gonna be a hard considering that I got this gun. One of the best things about this gun. Get the bridge. Where are you? Oh, the later just got brooms to fight with. <laughs> That's a bucket head. Might have more health points. Anything is about bucket heads. This is the last service boat over here. Who's a bit afraid? He wanted his mommy. I'm going to fly you, the key fragment, and your whole ship to Aurelia. And once she rewards me with the dreadnought, I'll travel from system to system. That this area wasn't. No! Ha! I shoved her ass in a hard drive and ejected the bitch. Pick her up, Vault Hunter. All right, we shall do that. Hopefully this is gonna be the end of it. I I truly hate these two characters. They are not fun whatsoever, in my opinion. She gonna be an annoying gun. Because, well, I do not like her. That would be amazing. Because I love the annoying guns. As <laughs> annoying as they are. Uh, let's give it to Marcus. Give me a sec. Whee! Oh. A couple people died, apparently. Oh, well. There were no names, anyway.
All right. I know just the one. Now that we are past that nonsense, bring the key fragment to me. All right, we shall do that. No, you're not gonna. Probably gonna be afterwards. Let me sell some stuff. I'll see you guys at tennis. All right, let's go give the full key to tennis. How does it feel to be one of the people? Disgusting, I imagine. There used to be so many of us on Pandora. Thank you. Our incarceration was not without fruit. We may have a plan to open the vault without giving the Calypsos what they want again. Now that we know they're after the power of the vault monster itself, we can hurt them. Tannis is looking into a way for you to destroy the monster before Tyrene can take its power. You saved the ship. Again. Thanks, killer. Hey, hey, that was all me. I mean, I know that you can thank me, though, but yeah, it was all me. I'm gonna stick around. The ship is tight. So Sanctuary has a voice now. Sure, why not? I can roll with it. Oh, I heard from Clay. He's got a lead on the next fragment. Go meet up with him. Oh, God. Please, no. Please don't make him say any more things. All right, what's the gun we got? Only log, only load, only death. All right. Looks decent. Reloading of loot all if you equip weapons. Oh, quite nice. Let me see. Uh, I don't have a pistol in my inventory right now. Worst thing I got is this thing. Yeah, I mean it's nice, but eh. Nothing good. All right. By the way, I will see you guys in the next area. All right, and here he is. Talk to Clay. Smooth operator. Glad you're here, cause I could use a hand. See, I used to run with a smuggling crew called the Rogues. Well, I called them in to find the key fragment, and they did. Infiltrated the COV and went deep undercover. So deep that now I can't get a hold of those bastards. So I need you to track them down. Here, take this. We call that the Rogue site. Guess what it does? Steals memories? I mean, who would want that? <laughs> Rogue site can do it all, baby. Leave secret messages, hide loot, mark POIs, lay traps. Every smuggler in the Rogues uses one. And now you got one. Like I said, the Rogues were running counter ops against the COV while looking for the fragment. With that Rogue site, you can track them down. I hear you. Loot nearby. Go on, give the rogue side a whirl. Just look through the scope. All right, let's give it a look. Mm hmm. Hey. Ooh. Ooh, this looks like a pretty decent pistol as well. 12 and a mag, decent damage. I'll keep it. Hopefully it's not gonna disappear after the end of the mission. Oh, but it's weird. Okay. Hm. Interesting. Alright, it might be a bit of a shorter episode, but that's gonna be it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Consider subscribing as well. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Yep. Yeah.